Happy Sunday, guys. It's Stacey Taylor Smith. I'm coming to you today to talk about a couple of topics. Um, I've been suffering with hyperpigmentation for a couple of weeks now, and I know where it came from. So I'm going to talk about hyperpigmentation. I'm going to talk about microblading that I am finally biting the bullet and getting microblading. I'm getting it done. Um, I've been a chicken about it. I have no tattoos. And if anybody knows what microblading is, it's just a tattoo. You just tattoo your brows. And I won't have to keep um, doing my eyebrows every day. If I want to fill them in and make them a little bit bolder, I can do that. But I won't have to wake up every day worrying about my brows. Like, this is the shape that I want. I don't want anything too drastic or whatever, but this is the shape that I want. And I've been just testing it out and, you know, going to take pictures of what I want. And I'm praying that the person who I've selected to do it will do me justice. I'm going to talk about the music that you're hearing in the background. My lovely husband and talented husband, David, has been uh, arranging some original tracks for me because I can't use anyone else's. And why should I use someone else's when I have an artist right here? And also New Year's Eve. What are you guys doing for New Year's Eve? We just made plans, like literally just made plans. Yesterday, I'm um, gonna go to our favorite spot. Um, we booked a couple of nights there, so hopefully everything will be well. It's gonna be like 30% chance of rain, but hopefully it'll be like in the daytime and not in the evening when it's time to party. So hyperpigmentation. That's just the excessive melanin that you see all around. Um, people of color have typically uh, hyperpigmentation or just a darker color around the forehead, um, around the mouth, in the neck area. That's like normal, okay? That's, that's, that's normal. That happens when you have a lot of gathering of skin and things like that. That's kind of a normal thing. But these little spots all here, and here, that's uh, called PIH, which is post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. That is, post means after. So basically, after your skin has been um, traumatized, AKA getting a blemish, a pimple, or whatever, there is a thing that happens where the melanin is coming to basically heal the skin, or just like inflammation comes around a bone when you break it, it's all done to heal. Well, after the healing goes down, guess what? We're left with the dark spots. Some people have them from the sun because the skin has experienced trauma from the sun. That excites the melanin in the skin. Some people get a tan. Some people are left with long lasting and uh, sunspots, okay? So I have been giving myself a chemical peel every other week or every week or so trying to combat that. But what I do need is a daily exfoliant. And I just ordered a product that I spoke about a couple of days ago in one of my posts called The Ordinary. That's the brand. And they have a pretty good bit of ingredients inside them. Um, some acids that are very, very mild that you can leave on as toners. Some acids that are peelings that you leave on for a few minutes and take them off. Um, but until those come in, I'm going to go ahead with my um, Dermalogic Appeal. And this, like I said, is very, very superficial. It's, um, you put it right on the top layer of skin, and I'm just gonna do it while I talk. And you can layer them as well. And this is the One Step Prep Solution. It has witch hazel and alcohol in it. What it does is it gets your skin ready and prepared for the peeling. So basically it degreases the skin. And I'm just gonna go around my brows that I did. So it degreases the skin and gets it ready. And if you guys suffer from hyperpigmentation, I suggest you see your esthetician and get a peel. You can do it in a series of like six. It'll help to shed all the dead skin cells on there. So I'll let this sit for a couple of minutes. 
so I can degrease my skin. And next I'll come along with um, Power Clear, which has a little salicylic acid in it. It's a beta hydroxy acid and it's made to clear out those pores because I have really oily skin. I've got a little inflammation here and a little bit here and a little bit right here. That's going to end up hyperpigmented because that's just what happens. Next, I'm going to put on Ultra Bright. No, no. I did Power Clear. Power Clear. And you can layer these peels and it really doesn't matter in what order you do them. Stay away from the eye area. And I have very strong skin, so, and I'm used to peels. I used to do peels quite often. And I just got away from it, you know, life happens. But I've got to get this skin together. I'm setting my timer. Because the real reason for me getting the microblading is so that I don't have to wear makeup. I'd like to just put on sunscreen, maybe a tinted moisturizer, but basically I'd rather just get up in the morning sometimes, like when I'm going to the beach or whatever, and just put on some sunscreen and some chapstick and just go. But when you don't have eyebrows, you can't do that. You look like an alien when you go out of the house without eyebrows. And I don't wanna have to put on makeup if I'm going swimming or if I'm going somewhere where, you know, it might be sweating or something. I may have to touch my skin, so. I'd really, it's time for me to get the brows done now. It's time for me to stop being a chicken. I don't have tattoos or anything like that. Uh, I'm just a chicken. And if you hear this in the background, it's just my little fan. This is always good to have when you are getting a chemical peel, just in case your skin gets a little excited. I just feel a little bit of a tingle. I don't feel any, um, any crazy excitement or anything. Next after that, I can layer this. This peel can be layered. This isn't a doctor peel. This is a peel for estheticians, so it is mild enough to be done in your aesthetics office. But it still needs to be done by someone who's trained. I am ready for this pigmentation to be gone. Seriously. Ready. When it's time for this to go off, I'll neutralize it. You need a neutralizer for this treatment because it needs to stop the action of the peel. It really does need to stop the action. I don't want it to keep going and going, then I could damage myself. And then you end up more hyperpigmented than before. So while I'm waiting for that to go ahead and finish, I got about two more minutes, and I just feel like a little tingling because what it is is um, a chemical peel just basically breaks all that glue that's holding all those dead cells together on your skin, and that's why you look kind of dull you don't look uh, very radiant and vibrant. This really helps to um, get the skin nice and fresh looking and you have a glow. You don't look so dull. So the next thing I'd like to talk about is micellar water. I have been using that also because, like I said, I'm, I'm tired of these dark spots. It's not too bad and with my foundation I have perfect coverage and everything but I don't want to do that. I want to get up sometimes, put on my sunscreen and go. So I want to talk about micellar cleansing water. I don't know if any of you have ever heard of it but it's nothing new under the sun. It's just making it another debut I guess. It's used in the French a lot because their tap water according to them is not very great for the skin. Now I can feel it tingling a little bit but that's good. Um, yeah, so it's just made out of um, glycerin, obviously water, um, things of that nature. Um, the surfactant in it, which is the cleansing power, um, it's made out of micelles. And micelles are oil-loving 
We have an oil loving tail that traps the dirt and oil. And then it has a water loving head that allows the micelles to dissolve the impurities out of the skin. So they kind of work together in a one, two punch to kind of get all that debris and everything away. It's not to replace your really um, good makeup remover and things like that. Um, you really should take your makeup off first before you do this. Take your makeup off first. Oil cleansing, I have found really good. I use extra virgin olive oil, and all of my students know that I live by that. I'm an oily person, and yes, I use extra virgin olive oil, not regular olive oil. You need that extra processing um, before it becomes good enough for the skin. It's not comedogenic. It will not break you out. I am living proof. Take my makeup off when, it, when I've been taking my makeup off. That's another reason why I've been getting blemishes. Um, it all started right after Thanksgiving because I was eating what I shouldn't have been eating in Thanksgiving over the holidays. And the sugar it's excites your oil glands and it makes oil overproduce. So with the sugar and um, not cleansing my skin properly, wearing makeup a lot because I've been going to a lot of parties, that is what creates a perfect storm on the skin. I'm going to use this um, neutralizing solution now because it is time for me to take it off. Be right back. Okay, so I removed that peel with cool water. Now I'm just gonna come over with the neutralizing solution which is going to stop the peeling action. Typically made out of a, an alkaline solution. Ay, ay, ay. My music just fell down. Speaking of music, those are the smooth sounds of David B. Smith. My husband, yes, he's a musician. And he typically plays rock, classic rock, but I asked him to make something for me for my YouTube channel. So he's been in the studio cooking up these nice tunes for me. Really nice. Back to the micellar water. This is so good that you could even do your double cleanse and your regular cleansing um, routine at night. And then in the morning when you get up, your skin will be clear of the makeup, but you still need to do uh, some type of a cleanser in the morning time. You know, your skin may have, you know, may have perspiration, you know overnight and you have your oil blend still working overnight so that's really really good you can um just use a two by two or use a um cotton ball or something and it's very inexpensive this bottle simple i think was like eight dollars and 99 cents you can get the fancier ones this is by um simple they have other ones garnier has one that's a little less expensive um la roche posay by a french company they have theirs for like $14.99 Bioderma has one for about the same price $14 there's a Korean brand out called Innifree hydrating cleansing water it's about $13 let me see what else did I find out for you there's a couple of other brands out there but they're not very expensive at all and you can use these for after your workout after you work out you don't have to bring like wipes just bring a couple of little cotton balls and just go ahead and wipe your face down so you don't you know, have any blemishes from that as well. Next, I'll be using a serum. Now that I have my skin nice and neutralized, and I'm gonna go ahead and go on with a serum. I'm gonna use this Pure Hyaluronic Serum from Cosmetica. I don't know if you can see it, if you can focus on it. But this serum and all hyaluronic acid serums and moisturizers and things provide hydration in the skin 
even though I am quite oily, I still need hydration in my skin. We all need hydration. The more hydrated your skin is, the more plump your cells are. So those fine lines that you do have can just disappear. Totally, totally disappear. Because they will be nice and plump. And there's this new, not really new, new to me, company called The Ordinary. They have it in a Sephora. I talked about it on one of my posts earlier on Facebook. And I've heard some great reviews on it, so I'm going to try those out as a daily treatment and a night treatment to try to get my skin back to where it needs to be. I see a nice little friend right here and right here. So later on tonight, I will be using a salicylic acid product as well as a um, hydrogen peroxide treatment because those are really good at killing bacteria and fighting inflammation. Um, going in and trying to expel it is just going to give me more hyperpigmentation and I'm trying to do everything that I can to um, not give myself any more hyperpigmentation than I already have. And my skin has been a little dehydrated. So that's the first serum. It's the more liquidy serum. When you're doing your products at night and when you're layering and cocktailing, you have to use products that are lighter first and then you go in with the thicker products a little bit later. And I have a vitamin C serum that I'm going to use. I thought I brought it out here for you, but I can't find it. Did I not bring it out? Oh, here it is. It's by Dermalogica. It's called Biolumin C Serum. It's a vitamin C. And vitamin C is used to brighten, lighten, I don't know if you can see it, and tighten, brighten, lighten, and tighten the skin. So I'm going to wait a couple of minutes, and then I'm going to layer this on top. Skin feels really nice. So yeah, all Sunday, I've just been doing things, trying to get the skin together, and about this microblading. I'm going to do it, but I know I'm going to be nervous going in because I don't have any tattoos, and my tolerance for pain is very low. Probably why I never had children, because I'm scared. And I usually get fillers every eight to nine months, but I really haven't had to. My fillers have been holding up pretty well. I usually get them right here, because this is where I get my lines, right in this area. But so far, so good. When I go, my doctor always says, you just like throwing your money away. I'm like, no, I don't really like seeing those lines after I put my makeup on. So that's it. That's it for today. All right, I've got my, did my chemical peel, talked about microblading, talked about my music that my wonderful husband made for me, and hyperpigmentation. All right, guys, that's about it. Hope you guys are enjoying your Sunday. Take care.